Hi everybody, as all of you know that GCP Cloud Associate Certification is very important to all of you. So from this video we are going to study GCP Cloud Associate exam important topics. So our flow will be like this. First we will discuss the theory part. After that we will discuss some important questions that have been asked in the exam. And at the end of this playlist, I mean after covering all the important topics, we will do a practical which will combine all the concepts that we have discussed till now. Okay, so today's important topic is Google Cloud Storage Types. As all of you know that if you want to store in a file, then in that case you need a space. Either you will be needing built-in space or you have to buy the space. So instead of buying the space, Google has provided us default storage types. And at that place, you can store your data. But at the same time, Google will charge according to frequency of use of data. So it is very important to store data in correct Google Cloud storage type. Otherwise, you will be charged heavily. Okay. So let's discuss about different types of Google storage types. So there are different Google storage types like standard, nearline storage, cold storage and archive. There are four types of storage. Okay. Let us discuss one by one. So the first type is standard and a standard is heavily charged because we store data in this which we want to use frequently. I mean the data which we want to use frequently, we have to store those kind of data in a standard. Okay. And it's always available. Now the next one is near line storage. Let's suppose you have a use case in which read or modify your data, but only once a month. You do not want to read or modify your data every day. You want to only modify the data once in a month. So in that case, near line storage will be used and Google will remove the data from near line storage after 30 days. Okay. Now the next one is cold line storage. Let's suppose you have a use case in which you want to read or modify your data once a quarter. I mean, once a quarter you want to interact with your data and the last one is archive data. So let's suppose you want to read or modify your data less than a year. In that case, you should use for archive data and the data will be available in that storage till 60, 365 days. After that, Google will remove the data from that storage. Okay. Now let's solve some of the questions that have been asked on these topics. And I am keeping this video short just because this is the first video. So the first question is like this. You can see here, you are developing a solution and you are using GCP cloud storage. Your users need to be able to access data once a quarter for some regulatory requirements. You want to be cost effective solution, which storage option you will choose. Here you can see they want to use data once a quarter. Also, they want to be cost effective. So as all of you know that if you want to use data once a quarter, then in that case, which storage you use. You can see here, if you want to use data once a quarter, then in that case, you should go for cold line storage. Okay. So you can see here the option will be the cold line storage. You can see here your company uses cloud storage to store application backup files for disaster recovery purposes. Which storage option will you choose? As all of you know that disaster happens once in a quarter or once in a year. It does not happen rarely or on frequent basis. If you want to read or modify data on frequent basis, on daily basis, then in that case you should go for near line storage. But if you want to use data once a quarter, then in that case you should go for cold line storage. And disaster happens once a quarter. So the correct answer will be cold line storage. Please let me know if you have understood this concept very well or not. Please let me know in the comment section if any improvement that I need to make. So guys, please like this video, subscribe the channel for getting more updates regarding this.